Your winner is Forrest Wang. Forrest Wang is your winner here at Motegi Racing Super Drift Challenge. All right, so our next battle here, Kyle Mohan, Forrest Wang. Kyle Mohan hails from right here in Long Beach, California. The built to Apex Nexon tires, Mazda MX-5. And Forrest Wang in his S14. Our first, or excuse me, our next battle on deck. Again, Kyle Mohan, Forrest Wang. The Rotary, any Rotary fans out there? The Mazda MX-5. Then you got the Toyota 2JZ under the hood of Forrest Wang. Here we go, and what is going on here? So Forrest Wang continues through the course. All right, so Forrest Wang continues through the course. We are hearing that Kyle Mohan, unfortunately, is having some issues. So Forrest Wang in the Get Nuts Laboratory S14. Looks like that will be it for Kyle Mohan. All right, so now one more battle left of the great eight, Forrest Wang and Jeff Jones. Our final battle. Here we go, Forrest Wang versus Jeff Jones. Wang, big angle there. Jeff Jones trying to chase him down. He gets to the center of the track there from Jones, that supercharged LS. Forrest Wang filling all of those rear clipping zones. Great execution by Wang. Jones really struggling there to hang with Wang, but Wang putting his car in the right places. It's fun seeing those drivers really develop, really polish their programs, and, and Jeff Jones, one of those guys that I think really raises some eyebrows, because he could really upset. He's yeah. kind of a dark horse. So Absolutely. Jeff Jones right now, he needs to throw it down. Forrest Wang in that chase position. Here comes Jones, out to touch go. Does not get all the way out there, but and there, he really does not make it out. So it seems that Jeff Jones Having a tough go right now because he does not get up to the touch and go, which isn't a big yep. issue, but does not fill that rear clipping zone. And with that dominant run out front, I mean, that was a solid run by Forrest Wang. Forrest Wang gets the win and advances on. Our final four is set. You know, the, the, the Indy cars, now Can-Ams. Yep. You know, the, the history here. Absolutely. How, how, how crazy is that for you, you know, being an East Coast kid, now drifting on a stage like this, on, on just something so fun and, and being part of, you know, motorsports overall. We'll get to yeah. that question. Hold yeah. that thought. Hold I that was going to say, let's here hold we go. that. Our second battle of the final four, Jonathan Castro, Forrest Wang, Castro, Duro, Metal Dom. And there you have it. So transitioning into that first rear clipping zone. Castro ripping through the course. Forrest Wang hanging tough. And around that final clip. All right, just taking a look here as third place will be dictated by qualifying, even though it was a randomization, a computer randomization. It looks like Dean Carnage Carney will be getting third place as Forrest Wang qualified 11th, Jonathan Castro 10th. <laughs> as the judges are jokingly handing it over to Chris Forsberg, uh, the, the, the judging <coughs> judging sheets. Uh, so, anyway, I mean, what can I say? I like watching drifting, you know? <laughs> Just been doing it for a while, but this is obviously a good time. We like to see these guys throw it down, and we're about to see it again. Forrest Wang out front. Jonathan Castro really oh! applying the pressure. Big angle from oh! Wang. Castro to, oh, and he bit off more than he could chew, but Forrest Wang gets it out to outer zone. And, oh, man, Castro was really going for the gusto. Oh. Oh, looks like the Zestino bit back. It's just too spicy for he, Jonathan He got Castro. a little too excited there. You can see that he was right on his door, left foot breaking, trying to stay with him. But I think he transferred off the throttle. If he would have stayed in the gas and transitioned slowly with him across the center line, he could have stayed with him, pushed all the way wide, had the same speed and we would have sealed the deal and got the win. I think they're gonna slide left, and there you have it. Forrest Wang's going to the finals. Yeah, Forrest Wang's always doing great in the lead run. He's always putting his car out to the outer zones. Big wow. angle, big smoke, but Alex Hilburn, he's a killer. He's on fire. He's two second places in a row. Let's see what he can do this weekend. Here we go, Hilburn out front. Forrest Wang in the chase position. Hilburn out to the touch and go. Transition, great execution by Hilburn. Utilizing all the track as Hillbrun lined up the middle tires, transition around that final clip. Forrest Wang, a little bit of struggling there on the front end of it. People are struggling on how to chase Forrest Wang, and, and if you've done competition with him before, he has a, a very styly, mm -hmm. smoky, big angle, and it's not the fastest, 
but it, it just is, is, is styling. Yeah, absolutely. Forrest Wang's style definitely comes true here to the Long Beach course. Wall to wall to wall, all the way through this course. And he really lays it down, and he puts people into a corner coming out of turn one. Not intentionally, but just in the fact of the way he drives. Big angle, big throttle, and it pinches them off, and they get blinded by the smoke. They transfer poorly coming down the chute, and they lose the run. So let's see how Hebron takes it. Here we go, the finals are here. Forrest Wang gets out to the touch and go, taps the wall, transitions in, Hebron. That's what I was talking about. He really there did not. That wheel speed, that wheel speed of Forrest Wang creates a lot of smoke, a lot of excitement. It allows him to let it hang out there as we are seeing the blinders, and we are seeing some contact there. So as you can see, so Hilbrun looks like he will be getting towed off, but he won't be towed far because we do have a winner. So our winners are here. Your winner is Forrest Wang. Forrest Wang is your winner here at Motegi Racing Super Drift Challenge. Congratulations, Frederick Osbo hands him the trophy.